three. Here. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज इट्स डे टू इन नेपल्स तो आज एक्चुअली हमें यहाँ पे वेसोवियस माउंटेन जाना है जो यहाँ का एक एक्टिव वॉल खेनो है तो आई एम रियली रियली एक्साइटेड अबाउट दैट अभी ये कटिंग करवाने के लिए गया हुआ है तो ये एक हेयर कट सैलॉन ढूंढ रहे हैं यहाँ पे मुझे नहीं पता इसको मिलेगा या नहीं मिलेगा और अगर मिलेगा भी तो अपॉइंटमेंट की ज़रूरत होगी या नहीं होगी तो लेट सी और मैं अभी तैयार हो रही हूँ इसके बाद हम सीधा होटल में ब्रेकफास्ट करने जाएंगे एंड देन वहाँ से फिर हम चलेंगे वॉल खेनो की तरफ सो वी वोक अप रियली अर्ली दिस मॉर्निंग एंड देन आई डिसाइड टू गेट अ क्विक हेयर कट फॉर माई सेल्फ थोड़े से बाल लंबे और आई वॉज होपिंग टू गेट इट डन बिफोर वी लेफ्ट फॉर नेपल्स इन स्टूट गार्ड इट सेल्फ बट उस चीज़ का मेरे को मौका नहीं मिला एंड देन सो वी डिसाइड कि हम जब यहाँ पर आएंगे then I'll get my hair cut done तो मैंने मंडे का सोचा था करवाने का बट दैन मंडे यहाँ पे जो बारबर्स थे वो क्लोज थे तो मतलब नहीं करवा पाया many many minutes later so I tried uh, I walked for the last 45 45 minutes more or less uh, on the streets of Naples uh, looking for a barber uh, the ones that I looked for they actually were not open yet although Google suggested that they were open So I ended up going to a few and I could not find one which was open. I just got back and yeah, could not get a haircut. But when I got back and this is you know what she looks like. And, uh yeah. I think she looks really pretty there. Yeah. <laughs> so like, right now we're going to go for breakfast. Uh we have not eaten anything since morning so we're going to go for breakfast, eat something and then <clears throat> I have a quick call to attend a uh, work related call and then afterwards we go to Vesuvius. Uh, so that's the plan of action for us today. Hey guys, um so we started with our trip uh to Mount Vesuvius the first stop is uh the wine tasting stop and it looks really really beautiful it's incredible like we can see the sea the mount vesuvius and the other mountains and the whole city from up here and yeah it was originally um starting at 11 am but then they said that it would be like around 10:45 so we were waiting there for 45 minutes but they finally came to pick us up at 11:30 it was quite a fiesta yes The view here is incredible. Wait, let me show that to you. sitting at a restaurant here in um so near mount vesuvius uh, this restaurant has a really really nice view so it has a water view and we can see all the volcano build ups and stuff like that as well and the restaurant is so beautiful this is where we were sitting i think it was a decent lunch uh, we had three options uh, of wines and uh, there was uh, a, s- uh, a small plate of pasta as well for us so i think it was a good decent lunch all in all uh, i'm glad that we ate something in the morning as well so that enabled us to not be so hungry yeah uh, especially at this mm-hmm. point so i think overall it was a good decision uh, to take this trip so far uh, now we head up to mount vesuvius and we see how it will be there uh, once we get there the next stop for us is that mount vesuvius right there So we head up there now and yeah we'll see you in a bit We have started our hike and this is how the path looks like Ugh. It's difficult to walk. 
but the view will be worth it, I guess. I mean, we have been hiking for like 20 minutes. The whole hike is for about 30 minutes tops, I guess. It's only one kilometer until the top of Mount Vesuvius. I don't think they would allow that. I don't care. <laughs> I came this far, I want to look in the fire. <laughs> Oh my god, it looks really beautiful from up here. So we basically reached nearly uh, at the crater of Mount Vesuvius. Just having a quick water break here, and then I think 20 meters from the, uh, the crater where we can see the actual crater. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Polish, Polish, Polish. <laughs> like to be honest, like I expected, like a deeper tunnel right here, like and smokes. Yeah, and smoke coming out of that tunnel, but. Seems kind of, you know, silent and it is kind of quiet. It is, it is quite big. And these are all the lava formations. And With you, I don't ever feel calm. I could feel the sweat inside my palm. Play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever want to give me wings. You don't ever want to set me free. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being a monster out of my head. I haven't seen anything like this. What, what's the thing? Huh? Wow, man. Wow. Did you like the crater or the views? What did you like the most? That's a good question. I'm going to go with the crater. With the crater? Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the man, views I are incredible. View I love the view. Yeah. I guess they're different, you know? So we have come to an end point of our Vesuvius mountain hike. It was really, really beautiful. Like the view up there was really beautiful. But to be honest, I expected a little more from, you know, the crater of the volcano. I thought there would be some kind of smoke coming out of the volcano or maybe, I don't know, I would be able to see a little bit of lava, but maybe that wasn't, you know, if the lava is there, it's dangerous. So, <laughs> of course, if there will be some kind of lava because it's an active volcano, it wouldn't be safe for us to go up there. But regardless, like it was a really good hike. Although it's super hot today, but I really enjoyed the hike because the view was totally worth it. And it was like almost for about half an hour. Like we climbed up for half an hour. I think there is only one volcano, one active volcano that I've seen. It's in Spain on an island called Tenerife. This one was definitely better than that one because I wasn't really able to enjoy that one as much as I did this. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey, how did you like the volcano? I loved it. Loved it? <laughs> I loved it. it was, yeah. It's really hot, but I think the trek uh, to, the, to the crater, I think it's worth a while. Uh, yes. It's, it's worthy enough, you know, for uh, you to get to the top and like you know viewing from there the crater looks really good uh, really quiet but again it, it's yeah I personally think it's a tragedy waiting to happen whenever it erupts yeah. but all in all it was a great experience it's a long hike uh, especially I mean you feel you know how hard the hike is when you uh, when it's, it's already like you know the sun is directly on your head and then 
it's really hot and it's like still but i think it's, and the it's, hike is quite you know rocky and sandy yeah so the feet are not stable so definitely do not wear sandals or do know, not <laughs> no. do, don't, don't it's do a big no-no you definitely need proper mm-hmm. shoes uh, that you can so that you can walk preferably hiking shoes yeah, like if, if you you're can. coming yeah. from, like uh, particularly for this kind of hike agree. but yeah all in all a great experience uh worth the money for sure uh, views from there, amazing views. I loved the views. I think uh, you can see almost the entire Malfi coast. And uh, yeah, once you get there, I think the views are amazing. You have got shops up there as well, so you can uh, buy water if you want. You can yeah do quite a few things. But all in all, lovely. It was amazing. So the last time I went to Spain, I collected some lava rocks from there, and I've done the same from here as well. This is something that we started uh, when we started traveling together. Uh, the first trip that we did was uh, to the UK. Yes. And from there we started collecting these magnets that you put on the, normally you put on the refrigerators. Yes. And this is the one that we got this time around. a really around. cute magnet. So we will be traveling to Capri as well and Sorrento. We were supposed to be traveling to Positano, Pompeii and Amalfi as well, but maybe not this time, yeah, maybe so next time. So I finally was able to get a haircut. Uh, I think this is you know what it looks like. Uh, it's, it's good. I think they've done a really good job. So we just came back from uh, the Mount Vesuvius tour, and then I saw the shop open when we st- uh, stopped uh, at our stop, and so I decided to uh, get a haircut done and thought that this would be a good idea right now and I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result I would say so yeah finally as I'm uh, back at the hotel now I will be going up to the room and I will be showing some of the how my real look looks like and I will be doing a quick reaction as well uh, just to you know, see or, or understand you know, what she thinks of the haircut so yeah just it's going to be good uh, she has not seen me with this kind of a haircut for a long time now and I think the last time I had a cut was months ago so yeah let, let's see how she reacts now looking forward to it here we go Yes, Sorted time Saath mein kari hai thodi thodi. Hmm. It looks good, huh? Hmm. So guys, apparently there was not a good reaction. <laughs> the only thing <laughs> she said, hai. yeah, she, she looked at me and she said, ah, I was yeah. a bit stressed because your phone was not going to go. And there was no internet. Bhi nahi tha. Yeah, I think there is some problem here with my phone. Uh, it's, it's not reachable. Uh, network here, but... I think internet needs a lot for some reason. So, and to be honest, the barber took a good one hour really? to, to do all this. The bal hai, I think, achhe gada. I'm happy with it. His reaction is not good, but still, I'm happy with my hair. Yeah, with my hair, I'm really happy. Do you have a wedding? No. 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 basically going to you know this one street uh, here in Naples uh, which apparently serves the best uh, pizza here so we are uh, currently walking to it yeah the street that basically leads us to uh, this amazing pizza place. pizza place that we are basically trying to get to it's such a tight street but still you can see like how cars are coming through Uh, there are certain uh, streets where we see, you know, a lot of 
uh, clothes hanging <laughs> for some reason. Don't know what really it is for. So as we came to this uh, restaurant here uh, on uh, Via di Tribunali and uh, the name of the restaurant is uh, Portico. Yeah, to have a last meal of, uh, the, trip. of the trip in Naples. Not really, we're gonna have the breakfast. Uh, so not really, yeah, not really the last, not, not really the last meal. But somebody really basically got this for her. So what is that? Spaghetti with uh, tomatoes. With basil, with garlic, and basically that's it. And it's called spaghetti al pomodoro fresco. Say, say that again. It's called spaghetti al pomodoro fresco. That, that's the name. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm and I know he's getting a pizza ortolana. So, so I'm getting a pizza ortolana. This is something which I normally order in Germany as well. We are currently sitting in the place of. You know, where the pizza was originated, so I'm expecting high standards here. My pizza looks something like this. So it's artichokes, it's spinach, it's mushrooms. I don't know, maybe there are some veggies inside the cheese. But so it's, it's, it's very different to what I'm used to for pizza or Lana in Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, but it looks really good and it's a huge pizza. Guys, yeah, just one, one last point here. So we basically sitting uh, in this uh, restaurant here where you can see some amazing view. So that's essentially on the street side that we are sitting. And then here is where you can check. Like the, be like the place is so cool that we are sitting outside of a church. Essentially just on the opposite side of the church. And it's, it's a live busy street and there's so many people passing by. It's a really good vibe on, on this uh, street specifically. Definitely recommend it to anybody trying uh, to get to Naples and eat a good pizza as well. So, yeah. So, guys, we uh, basically got done with the dinner and then we picked up a gelato uh, for, for ourselves and finished that as well. I think so far uh, we have like had a decent amount of food and we are like, like, at least I can say for myself that I'm full at this point uh, Samriddhi perhaps is not I'm yes. quite full too but I just like miss eating vegetables yeah. I think you know, I think it's just two days that we have been here and uh, she has come to a realization that for the next couple of days as well she is not going to be able to eat <laughs> anything else outside Any of kind pasta of vegetables pizza. except like tomatoes uh, yeah anything else outside of pasta and pizza you know, she's looking to get something which is more uh, how do I say I wholesome know. nutrient dense yeah and yeah in, in Italy I think so far what we have discovered is that we can only find you know, food which is in a sense or in any form associated to pasta or pizza and <laughs> this is this is like a perfect place for me yeah because he loves pasta yeah, and because pizza because I love like, pasta and pizza <clears throat> yeah all in all I think I'm happy with the food She's somewhat happy, but she's not happy with that there is not much variety for her to work with. And I think the next thing that we are going to do is just walk around Naples and you know, explore the city a bit and then head home and uh, yeah, conclude our trip to Naples. Uh, so tomorrow morning we are going to head out to Capri and we will I'm be staying. Excited for that. Yeah, absolutely excited for that. Uh, and we will be staying there for uh, a couple of days <clears throat> so we will be doing quite a few things there as well but yeah so that's pretty much it from my side anything any comments from your side um to be honest like uh, just be prepared if you want to come here like just be prepared to eat pizza and pasta <laughs> and if you're not a pizza and a pasta person maybe try and search for some restaurants beforehand so that you can you know explore different kinds of options here in naples or I think anywhere here in Italy, in general.